Welcome back. It seems we have no choice but to help the crazy factory director find Helena. And by an amazing stroke of luck, we've actually found a clue as to how to do that. One of the newspaper snippings in uh, this shrine that the director has um, actually contained the name of Frank Malkovich, who Helena knows. And that just so happens to be a friend of Cade's mom. So let's try to call her mom and see if she knows anything or Frank knows anything about where Helena might be. Hi, Mom. Kate! What? Have you seen the time? Why are you phoning me in the middle of the night? Oh, sorry, Mom. I forgot about the time zones. Did I wake you? Um, well, of course you woke me up. I, I was sleeping deeply, too. I've simply got to get my beauty sleep. I've got an absolutely crazy day tomorrow. I'm sorry. It's just that it's real important and urgent. I haven't got a lot of time. Well, if it really can't wait till tomorrow, Munchkin... Come on, tell your mommy what's up. Uh, no way I'm calling Dan for you, if that's what you want. Mom, listen, please. I seem to remember you're seeing a Marovich or something like that at the moment. No, 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 no. Malkovich, Munchkin. Frank Malkovich. Yeah, right. So, but he's an opera singer, right? That's right. They say he had the finest voice of his time, my dear. Imagine that. That's just great. So then he must have known a famous singer called Helena Romansky. She's Russian, too. Please, if you can ask him if... Listen, honey, if it's stars you're after, Frank knows them all. I'll just wake him up and let him tell you himself. You mean he's... Frank, do you know this song? This woman named... Oh, you do? Oh, Kate, listen, you're still there. Frank tells me he did hang out with a Romansky once, but it was platonic. You know those singers. She's a great soprano. Great. Does he know where she went? Does, does she still sing? Where does she live? One second, Munchkin. Do you know? Oh, oh. Frank says she was very ill and she withdrew from circulation. Really? Oh, what is... Oh, oh okay. Um, she went to rest in some spa somewhere. He thinks it was called Arrowbad, but it was 15 years ago and he's not sure. And, well, honey... When Frank wakes up, he always takes a little bit of time to get going, you know. Thanks a bundle, Mom. And Frank, too. You're both fantastic. Love you both. Thanks again. Catch you later. Well, that was lucky. All right. It seems that uh, we have a lead. Some place called Arrowbat. We don't know for sure if Helena is still there. But at least it's a place to look. Wait, weren't we trying to find someone else already? Now we have two people to find, I guess. Hopefully, Helena will be easier to find than Hans has been so far. I guess we should tell the director what we've learned. Oh, and another phone call. Hello? Did I wake you up? I can't sleep at all. This whole business just keeps turning round and round in my head. What business, Dan? But Kate, that argument we had, have you forgotten? I really need to talk about that again. Oh, you know, I, I guess we were both a little high-strung, that's all. But don't sweat it, okay? Yeah, sure. Getting carried away never solves anything, does it? I must say, I felt really dumb when I hung up. Really? Yeah, I left the door to my office open and I was convinced everybody around heard me. Ah. Uh, I'm so embarrassed, Dan. Please say I'm sorry to your colleagues from me. It doesn't matter, honey. Promise me that you will never put me in that state again. You're usually so delightful. I have the impression that this journey is putting more than distance between us. Well, it's true, I'm living a whole load of new and amazing experiences. Okay, I see. And I still know Hans Wahlberg? No. Keep me posted. You know how important you are to me. Hurry home, huh? I'll try. Big hug, Dan. 
Okay, what an asshole. I mean, really. The only reason he felt bad about that is because other people might have heard him. Not because of how he acted towards Kate. Nice going, dude. Starting to think Kate might be better off out here. Director. Ah, oh, it is you, Miss Walker. Director, I think I know where Helena Romanski is. My god. You have found Helena? That is fantastic. What is his accent supposed to be anyway? I don't really recognize it, to be honest. From my research, Helena Romanski is living in Arlbad. Arlbad? Helena Romanski is in Arlbad. You know the town then? You know where it is? Of course. It was a famous spa resort. In its heyday, Arlbad welcomed all the big wigs of the regime. To be granted a stay there was a real honor. Today, the honor has gone, along with all the generals and colonels, all washed away with the sea. It sounds like a good place if you need to take it easy or convalesce. I think Madame Romanski would be happier here. I think she'll prefer the peace and quiet here. The perfect tranquility of our little town. Well, I haven't seen the town, I guess. I hope it's better than this factory, because otherwise I'm going to have to disagree. How do we get to Arlbad? Maybe you can help us with that? How can I get to Arlbad? There is one way that you can. Here, in the city, there are no suitable vehicles left. But that drunk old fool living up there, he'll have something. What drunken old fool? You mean you're not alone? What's up there? You mean you haven't noticed the space compound on the plateau? There's still some pathetic old soldier guarding it. But he's more interested these days in reaching for another bottle than reaching for the stars. And you think this gentleman could have a vehicle for me? I haven't the slightest idea. If you catch him on a good day, then maybe. But good days for him are far and few between. I wish you luck. How do I get up to the space compound then? There is a monorail that leads up to the Cosmodrome. When you are inside, I will activate the automatic pilot. Okay, so that's the monorail that's right outside, I guess. Also, we have a vehicle, a train. If only you could, you know, give the hands back, we could maybe take that. I guess maybe you can't get to Arlbad by train. Why don't you come with me? After all, you're the person in the best position to convince Helena Romanski. Unfortunately, since my accident, I seldom leave my office if I can avoid it. And it is not wise for a director to leave his city now, is it? Everybody's got an excuse. I remember you're saying that you didn't know Hans Varlberg. It's strange because there's a photo in your museum with a man accompanied by Helena Romanski and yourself. And that man looks just like Hans Vorlberg. And so, does this prove that I know him? I think you have forgotten that only several years ago, this city was swarming with people. Do you think I actually knew every employee by their first name? N no, of course not. Uh, but the man is holding hands with Helena, so I just imagined that maybe... Just imagined? Yes, you were. Imagining things, my dear. You have a mission in hand, Miss Walker. Pray, concentrate on it. Um, I guess I missed that. Maybe I need to look at those pictures again. You know, I could get there ten times quicker if you gave me my automaton's hands back. 
Then I could use my train. Out of the question that I tamper with my pianist now. Please understand. There are still one or two finer adjustments that I must make before Helena arrives. So we could get there by train, I guess. At least he's not saying it's impossible. He's just being unreasonable. But, you know, what else do you expect from the people in this game? Especially this guy. At least since all of them seem to have a new dialogue, dialogue does this? What makes you think this lady is going to come back with me? You're a lawyer, are you not? No doubt you will be able to plead my cause brilliantly to her. Can't fold this logic there, I guess. Okay, I'm going. Wish me luck. I am counting on you, Miss Walker. So there's a picture of... Oh, that's not what I want to do. There's a picture of Hans in here? Or somebody who could be Hans. I guess it's one of these two? Although, she said this person is holding hands with uh, Helena Romanski, and that doesn't seem to be the case. Unless it's a different picture. No, unless that picture is on the wall and I just missed it. I don't exactly know what they're talking about. Anyway, we can now take the monorail. Which still doesn't really look like a monorail to me. I guess it is. This is suspended from a rail. Which makes it an inverted monorail, I guess. Whatever. Not important. Um, let's see. Oh, more phone calls. Hello? Kate! Oh, that you? How are you? Olivia! Great, just the right person. Look, have you heard of Helena Romanski? Uh, no. Is she some Russian fashion designer? <laughs> no, she's a singer. I'm going to be meeting her soon. I've just got to find a way of reaching Arlbad. Can you imagine how lucky I am? Not really. Well, what relations this singer got with the toy co-case? You sure you know what you're up to, Kate? Uh, you sound really different, like you're changing or something. Look, it's like this. If I'm going to get to the end of my journey, I've got to link up this singer and the director of the Comcalsgrad Industrial City. Don't worry, I know exactly what I'm doing. Why did you say that I've changed? I don't know, just an impression. You sound more sure of yourself, like stronger, more confident. And that's a problem? There you go. Just takes one word and you're up on your high horse. I'm beginning to see Dan's point of view. It's getting harder and harder to back you up all the time. <laughs> what does that mean? Well, it means that I had a drink or two with Dan, because he wants to talk. He feels a bit lonely, you see? And what's he been telling you? Nothing. He just has the impression you're slipping away from him. He can't see where you're coming from anymore. Like, we went to the movies the other day, and he said that you would have loved the film, but I told him that... You mean you're dating my fiancé? No! No, not dating Kate, just propping him up while you're away. All in a good cause. I can keep an eye on him for you at the same time. What would I do without you? Oh, you're jealous. Huh. Well, that's a good sign. That means you want him. Now that he'll be pleased to hear. You seeing each other again soon? Tomorrow night. He invited me to dinner at the Goldwood. You don't mind, do you, Kate? No, no, no worries. Look, I've got to go, Olivia. Take care. Okay, well, the ongoing saga of uh, Real Housewives of New York, I guess. Yeah, well, it sounds like uh, K 
Kate is enjoying her mission more and more. I mean, at least we're getting to see some interesting places. Like this old Cosmodrome. Are these missiles? Rockets? Kind of hard to tell. If they are, they look more like ballistic missiles than, you know, anything space related. Which is sort of ominous. Wonder why this facility was abandoned. After all, you know, even after the fall of the Soviet Union, Roscosmos is still active, so... I guess they didn't need this place anymore, for some reason. Looks like we can go up there. And I got a new conversation thing. Wait, bird? We had that one before. I think we're asking about the bird we're hearing here, though, not about the birds back in Barakstad. Some kind of rocket sitting on a pad here. Was it meant to launch from here? Because there's, like, there's no, like, water source or anything, or any kind of protection against the blast. Not sure. In any case, it seems like it's not finished, so... It's not going to be an issue. Did we find the bird? We found a bird. I think it is the one we're hearing. Oh, but there's actually quite a lot of birds. They seem to like hanging out around that blimp over there. Doesn't look like that works. And I have no idea what that is. And it doesn't look like it works, so... Nothing we can do up here right now. We need to find this guy, anyway. This drunk that... the director was talking about. Looks like some old space capsule or something up here. Let's check it out. Let's check the inside of the capsule. Seems like a good place to start. Aha! We found someone who is apparently using this place as his house, I guess? It's kinda dirty, but sure. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Sorry to disturb you, but you who can you hear me? Three, two, one, contact! And we have left off. Oh, holy mother. A dame. A, a pretty dame on the launch pad. Uh, please, no need to worry, sir. Just do stay calm. I just want some information. Watch what you're doing, sweetheart. We ain't got no information, no strategies, no plans to tell anyone anywhere, anytime. <laughs> Military regulations, you dig it, man? <laughs> Okay, um, he doesn't seem up to an awful lot of conversation. Since he appears to be quite drunk. Let's try anyway. My name's Kate Walker. I'm a lawyer from... I mean... I'm a bit lost. And I guess you know this place. Maurice Charoff, at your service, madam. Can I offer you something from the bar? No, thank you. Tell me, how long have you been here? For as long as it took for you to come along, sweet pea. <laughs> Don't think I've been lonely. I got a bottle or two here. Keep me company. You're a soldier, aren't you? Ex-cosmonaut? Hey, honey, that's all in the past. Hell, 
Let's talk about today. Let's have a drink. Now that's an order, soldier. Um, I'm not in your military, so you can't order me. Uh, please, can you try and get a grip? I must absolutely find a way out of this industrial complex. Jeez, me too. I've really got to get out of this dump, but not before I've had a little drink. Here, get your pretty little lips around this. Vodka, tell me what you think. Do you have a vehicle to lend me? I think I'd even test one of your rockets right now if I had to. Toast my rockets? Hey, pretty dame, I'll drink to that. Now, just a minute, we're gonna need a special bottle for this special occasion. Something to blow you away. Three, two, one, contact, and we have liftoff! Okay, that's enough. What was that? Uh, did you say something? Our... Are female comrades revolting or what? <laughs> uh oh, trouble on its way. <laughs> Bottoms up. Power to the babushkas. I think he needs to sober up before he can be any real help to us. I heard that maybe you could lend me a vehicle or something. A vehicle? <laughs> All our vehicles were picked up and shipped out to the borders years ago. General's orders. I say. Let us raise our glass to this finest soldier this country's ever known, little lady. I don't mean to offend you, but I'm not in the mood for a drink right now. And you'll live to regret it to your dying day, sweetheart. To your health, while you have it. Does the name Hans Varlberg mean anything to you? Kars... Berg. Uh, of course I know that name. But sorry, it... It's been a long time since I've seen something like that around here. Varlberg. He's a person. I'm looking for him, and I think he might have come by here a few years ago. Well, in that case, let us raise our glasses to this brave man and his very good health. Okay. I guess that was a long shot. I came here by train. But I've got this mechanical problem. I had to leave the train down in the industrial zone. The director down there told me you were here. Ah, Borodin, that dumb traitor. I tell you, he's gone over to the enemy, over to the dark side. It's terrifying, the darkness. He eating out his brain. The <laughs> jerk. That's maybe going a bit far. He is a little eccentric, I'll grant you that. But when you live on your own, cut off from the world for so long, his brain's gone A-W-O-L, I tell you. There's no darkness in my brain. I've got a cure. See? My secret antidote. Go on, have some. It'll stop you getting a cold. I don't think I'm in a high-risk category, but thanks anyway. Yeah, he was more than a little eccentric, in my opinion anyway. So many birds nesting around here. What attracts them all here like that? Ah, uh, dumb birds. But at least a bird don't get bored, does it? See, they can fly. Them birds, jeez, they can fly. Sounds like you're jealous of them. Well, maybe you're just right there. Because sometimes I like to let Soyuz loose and watch them circle for hours on ends. The birds, they crap themselves when they see him coming. Don't stop him coming back, though. Soyuz? Soyuz, ma'am. A silver angel. A savior who cleans our cosmodrome of them dirty rats with dirty wings. That's also the name of a rocket, but I don't think you're talking about that. I need to get to Arlbad, and quick. You go ahead, soldier. I'll stay here and keep you covered. I got the supplies here. I gotta keep an eye on them. Tricky job, too, you know. All these bottles. Very tricky. I was going to... Oh, forget it. It doesn't matter. He's too drunk to help anyone anyway. I am not drunk. I have drunk. A little. <laughs> Sure. And you're drinking more. Lovely. 
got a picture of Sputnik and Yuri Gagarin, I think. And he's got a an empty bottle over there that I guess we can pick up. Strange. Sure, I left a bottle or two around here. I gotta get some air. Wall's getting pretty tight. We'll think about that blast off later, huh? Are you okay, Colonel? Are you sure you're all right? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Be careful! Don't lean out too far or you'll... Ah. <laughs> that went well. Okay, um, I guess he fell into this bucket or whatever that's attached to this crane thing. Can we help him? No, can't even click on him. That's a bit of a problem, because I do need his help. How about that crane itself? Maybe that serves some purpose. He has a lot of bottles sitting out here, doesn't he? Let's see... I guess we can move. Not sure what this is about. That's doing nothing. I need a key. Okay, so we can't operate the um crane without a key. Let's take a little look in the capsule. Now that he's not sitting here, we can actually look in this cabinet. Which contains some papers. Let's see. Comcold's Grad Cosmodrome, the Prototype Program Management Committee. Object Program XP-25, the Vorlberg Spring-Loaded Launchpad Project. Okay. So... Hans was up here at the Cosmodrome as well. And if he had this letter, he probably does know him. Or at least know of him. I guess he was just too drunk to... really realize it. Let's see what it says. Comrades. Subsequent to inspections over the last year, our comrades of the Government Space Program... of the Pro Government Space Commission have reached an unfavorable conclusion concerning the Vorlberg project, program XP-25. Here are their findings. The Space Commission is convinced that Hans Vorlberg's research will yield no concrete results capable of serving the military interests of our country or of advancing its space program. It is considered that this project will only bring ridicule to our country and give a very poor image of our national space industry abroad. During the last few years, in a long succession of fruitless attempts, Comrade Vorlberg has clearly demonstrated the limits of his knowledge of mechanical sciences. Consequently, we have ordered the irrevocable suspension of the program. It has been deemed counter-revolutionary, and we now withdraw all collaboration with Comrade Vorlberg. This decision has been approved by the Supreme Soviet, who adopted, with a clear majority, the Central Committee Directive of April 15th, relating to the definitive cancellation of the Vorlberg Spring-Loaded Launch Pad Project. Program XP-25. The directive announces the provisional closure of the Comcolsgrad Crossmodrome and reassignment of Vorlberg projects, programs XP-25 test pilots, to other domains. Comcolsgrad, 21 April 1979. General Balia Mushin, commander of the Cosmodrome. Wow, so that's why the Cosmodrome was closed. 
Um, I guess... Can't really say I blame them. I mean, there's not really any details here, but a spring-loaded la launch pad sounds like uh, a terrible idea. Um, there's also a key here. Perhaps the very key we seek. Only one way to find out. Which is to try it. That did something. Now can we find out what this lever does? No. That works. I wonder why this doesn't work. Kind of looks like a shower or something. And actually, if you've been uh, paying attention... He's just over here now. Um, when we walk this way... There is a wheel at the end of the platform. It does sound like water is running somewhere. So let's see if that accomplished something. Otherwise I don't really see what moving this guy around is doing. It is a shower of some kind. It's dropping water out of this pipe. Maybe used for cleaning purposes or something. Not sure. But I guess a cold shower is just what the doctor ordered. There we go. That might have sobered him up. What's happening? That's water you've got there. Stop it! Now! You want me to drown? Good thing it was water and not some industrial chemical or something. Alright, hopefully he um, is a bit more alert now and we can talk to him with more success. But we'll try that in the next video.